Hi my beauty and gents, welcome back. In this video I am going to show you my process of a wash day for my newborn. So right now I am going through all of her new items to prep for wash day. I like to wash everything before use and I probably will always do this because this is something that I also do for myself um, before I wear any new item whether it is a shirt um, or jeans or whatever it is I like to wash them um, before I put it on my body and I'm definitely going to do this for my newborn If you're thinking, okay, do I do this all the way down to the socks? Yes, I do. Bibs, booties, socks, anything. I wash them before use because those are things that a child would definitely put in their mouth and I don't want the outside germs to be in my baby's mouth. So I definitely wash those things as well. So right now I am about four weeks postpartum and this is not my first wash. I like to wash the baby's clothes in increments of the age, I guess. Um, so before she was born, I washed all of the newborn items and um, I did this process then. So now I am about to wash all items that are zero to three months because she's getting to that next stage of clothes to wear um, as she gets bigger my daughter was so blessed to receive so much support whether it was from her aunties or uncles and cousins and grands and uh, distant aunties, social media aunties, mommy best friend aunties, just everyone has been so supportive that, you know, I haven't had to purchase anything on my own. So all of these cute little outfits, I'm still in awe about because they are just so cute. I have not yet had to go shopping for her. So this is still new to me. This is my first baby. So the baby clothes are new and I'm just so excited to see all of these gifts and they are just so cute <laughs> now let me warn you this is an all day or all morning process so you have to have your fun with it I am um, what I like to do is I like to put my music on just kind of do my thing get in my zone because I'm going to be doing this for a while so have fun with it Okay, so with this process, what I typically like to do is for some of the outfits that uh, look similar to another one, I sometimes have to take a picture just so I can pair them back together the same way before the wash. So I always want the outfits to look unworn um, and I always want them to be hung back up perfectly as if I didn't wash them. So um, this is something that I like to do um, just to make sure that everything stays together. So this is the outfit that is similar to the last one. And what I like to do is I want my baby to wear all of her outfits as they came. And after that first wear, um, sometimes I make mix and match. Sometimes, you know, I put um, this shirt probably with another pair of jeans or, you know, just kind of trying to stretch um, the, the use of her clothes because, you know, they're all nice and they're still new and I don't want her to only wear her things one time and I don't want her to ever wear them the same way. Uh, even though she has so much stuff, I do want her to wear 
every single thing and more than once so even when we're home not doing nothing I still try to dress her um dress her up and now we are finally ready to wash all of her clothes and my choice of laundry detergent is all for babies this all brand detergent happens to be much safer than the most popular brand and if you look on the ewg.org website it has a list of everything that you need to know as far as the ingredients and the harm that it can do to a baby while this brand happens to be the most popular one on the market, I chose not to use it because it has an F rating from the EWG for having ingredients that poses significant hazardous to the health. Um, so that was a no for me. I don't need the chemicals. That's what we are trying to avoid. So now that the clothes have washed and have air dried, we are now ready to sort through them, iron them up, and hang them back up to put them in the closet for wear. So now I am ironing some of the clothes. I am folding some things um, because everything does not have to be ironed or on hangers. So basically this just turns into um, a clean her room process because after laundry day, things can get a bit messy. Um, so I am folding up all of her sleepwear to her blankets, um, to separating the bibs and the socks and etc. So. Now, some may find this process to be a bit tedious, but for me, I love it so much. It's calming, it's it's a peace of mind, and I can't describe it, but some mothers may know exactly the feeling that I'm that I can't convey. But when I'm in my daughter's room, I just feel at peace. Um, I'm able to think and I'm, I'm able to really think of how much of a blessing um, that she has been to not just my life, but also, you know, my family and friends as well. So some mommies may be asking, where do she find the time? So for me, the best time to do this is when she's asleep um, or when I have help with her. And also when I feel like it, because this is a job, so on most mornings, I just try to knock it out the way and this is how I start my day. Oh 
well, I should say my weekend. Most mommies such as myself are so busy throughout the weekday that I wait to the weekend for laundry day. Um, so I would suggest starting this process on a Friday, let it air dry, Sunday or Saturday, pick it right back up. So we're wrapping it up now, hanging the items up in the closet, um, putting the folded items in the drawers, and uh, we're almost done. Now it's time to clean up a little, um, put things in place and just organize her room just a little bit. I have so much more I have to do when it comes to decor and, and cleaning and everything. And I'll do another video of that later. But right now we have to get other things done. So calling it a day. Please comment, like, and share. Um, if you want me to make more videos such as this one, just leave some comments down. Um, talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.